Look at this Apex Arena. In, this is the one of the Apex Arena, the elimination period in the second season of the Chinese server. Yeah, it is getting hot because this Claret is trying to kill Judge right now. We know that Claret has very high mobility. Here she has 10 mobility here. And she has the small faction buff provided, provided by Varna, which is 20% increase for attack. And then she has a uh, King's Crown's effect which is damage dealt by 20%. So this really looks like all set. Clarity is all set to kill this Judgerer. And this Judgerer has no, you know, basically this Judgerer has no 4 health spawns. So the last right for this Judgerer is not going to be effective. It looks like this Clarity is going to kill that Judgerer for sure. And uh, let's see. So yeah, Clarity jumps in. Oh, there is a Ragnarok, which is very interesting. With the help of Ragnarok, this Juggler has no Breather, which is kind of terrible, you know, Season 2 Juggler is always Breather Juggler, but this Juggler has no Breather. But uh, it looks like, uh, yeah, it looks like uh, Clarity is all set to take this Juggler from second attack, so we will see. Okay, Clarity comes again and attack, and uh, nope, yeah, she failed to kill that Juggler. Yeah, so this is why, sorry, this is why Claret you suck in Season 2. Yeah, so that's all about it. Uh, so this um, clip uh, basically shows that uh, how you use Claret, how you want to use Claret to kill your enemy's tank, and uh, why she is not that great in Season 2. Uh, Claret is one of the characters that is specifically designed for the Season 1 of the um, playoff um, you know, of the playoff or elimination period for season one, and uh, the reason that was uh, the, the reason that I said that is because uh, if you want to use Claret for the season one of the Apex Arena, you have to summon her at six star because she is not that threatening at lower star, and uh, you know, and she is not you know a character that you should summon one copy and then. You know, farm shards all the way up to six star, just because she's not that good in season two. She cannot kill Landius, she cannot kill Juggler, she cannot kill Vegas. All these tanks she cannot kill. This is why she sucks in season two. So she's still a choice for you in season two. I mean, if your box, you know, um, if your box heavily relies on like Princess faction, heavily relies relies on like Legend faction and also Meteor faction. She is still a choice, but she is definitely not the best choice in your box. Just because in Season 2 she cannot kill tanks even with two consecutive moves. Uh, but this is not the case for Season 1. She is very broken in the playoff or elimination period for our global, um, for, for our global server. Because uh, the reason, basically the reason that she cannot kill tanks in Season 2 is because in Chinese server, in season 2, they already have secondary enchantment ready. So with secondary enchantments, you know, the tanks, they get a lot more tankier. And, uh, you know, although you can make higher attack for Claret also, but usually she is not, you know, that enough to kill tanks. But this is not the case for season 1. Uh, and this is also why she is OP in season 1. Uh, it's because Claret can actually kill tanks with two moves in season one. So if you can kill Juggler, if you can kill Landius with uh, Claret, then uh, you know, although your Claret will be you know 100% killed after you know Claret kill uh, the enemy's tank, but it is worth it. Uh, it is very worth it if you use Claret to you know trade for your enemy's tank, and this is likely to happen if you have a very good Claret in season one. Yeah, but uh, again, this is like designed basically for whales. So if you can pull a six-star Claret, you will have a huge advantage in season one. And uh, you know, if you have a very low-star Claret, then I would not recommend you to actually invest her because she is not that great in season two. And you know, even whales, they will probably kick out Claret in season two and bring up someone else. Yeah. So basically, this is the conclusion for Claret. Uh, and uh, you know. But for sure, this banner is Claret and Astral, so if you are a big fan of them, definitely try to summon, you know, as much copy as possible. But if you just care about, you know, in long term and in short term, if they are good, 
uh, in short term, Clarity is super, super, super good. Although, you know, uh, the period is kind of short, uh, in Season 2, she is not that good. So, you know, if you think about long term investment and you are not aware that who cannot pull, you know, who cannot summon 6 star Clarit, I don't really recommend you to summon on this banner. Yeah, but uh, again, let's start uh, checking uh, Clarit's uh, talent. So basically, so uh, so Clarit's talent, uh, first part is uh, is related with increased damage dealt and uh, decreased damage received. So this is a very strong uh, talent that uh, censored well with her like tank kill function. And uh, also, uh, the second part of the Clarit's uh, talent is related with her uh, mobility basically so the mo so the mobility part is that if you uh, for example if you move Claret in in the first turn and you have like uh, for example X amount of m m mobility left then this um, X amount of mobility will be added to the mobility of Claret in the second round so for example Claret uh, as flyer she has five mobility if you stay uh, if you didn't move Claret at all in first round then she will have 10 mobility in second round. So this is why uh, in that video we saw that Claret traveled all the way, you know, to kill that, to try to kill that juggler, although she failed, but she still has that mobility. So which is a good thing. And uh, yeah, this is basically uh, why Claret is OP uh, because you know she has very high mobility and she can move twice. And the reason that she can move twice is because one of the skill. Uh, which is uh, kind of similar to scale to lightning. Uh, so this is a 1.6 um, times um, the yeah. This is basically a 1 1 1.6 single target scale. And uh, you you know if you killed your enemy, then uh, the cooldown of this scale reduced by three turns. So it becomes essentially a one turn scale. But that is not the strong part of this scale because Clorets really can kill enemy with just a one attack. The strong point of this skill is that if you actually failed to kill your enemy and then you can move again and you can actually also attack again but uh, you will have a debuff on Claret which you are, she received a debuff basically reduce her damage dealt by 50% in her second move. This is why uh, like if you are curious why Claret failed to kill that juggler at the second move, this is why. Because in her second move uh, you know, all of the damage dealt by Claret essentially reduced by 50%. So, you know, in Season 1, uh, after you attack Jadula the first time, Jadula usually have very low health points. And then, you know, with the second move, although you have this um, reduction in damage dealt by 50%, you can still actually kill your enemy. Because there is another uh, single target skill, uh, which is Roar, uh, that Claret can use. So basically, this is the uh, basically this is a similar scale to Elven scale, uh, which is a 1.3 single target scale that can remove two enemy buffs and also reduce the attack and intelligence for your enemy by 20% for one turn. So this is basically essentially the same scale compared to Elven's. Yeah, and uh, so the uh, so the scale selection for Clarit is just a very simple. You will always need to ruin both single target scale, which is this um, lightning scale and this rural scale. And then there is another passive scale that Claret can use. And this passive scale is also very strong. Is that uh, um, before you attack, uh, the damage dealt uh, um, will be increased based on how many spots you travel. Uh, and the maximum uh, damage dealt is increased by 25%. So this is a very, very strong scale. For example, if your Claret, uh, like for example, she moves 10 spots before attacking, then the damage dealt will be increased by 25%. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, but if you can only travel like 3 spots, then the damage dealt will only increase by 15%. This is why, you know, for Claret, her second attack, although, you know, she has a second move, but the, her second attack was not that amazing. This is basically this is basically why. So the first reason is because, uh, for example, this lightning, 
uh, will reduce your damage dealt for your second move by 50%. And then this uh, passive skill is related to, you know, basically uh, how many spells you traveled before your attack. So with second, you know, in your second uh, attack, usually your cleric will not be able to travel five spots, so that's not going to be a 25 increase in uh, in damage dealt. Yeah, so this is basically how should you, uh, how should you use uh, skills for your cleric. Uh, I mean, you will also master this um, like secondary, um, you know, infantry class just that because this will provide some, uh, this will provide some extra attack. But uh, you will actually not learn any like useful skills here. Uh, like this skill is not useful for your cleric. The all the skill that you will always carry is this this roar skill and then this lightning skill and also this um, passive skill that increase the damage dealt based on how many spots you travel. So this is basically what skill you use for cleric. And uh, uh, then let's move on to talk about what uh, gears you should use for cleric. So in this case, let's just uh, check the um, uh, the gears for other like top players. So for example, this player uh, is a very strong player, and he actually played um, Apex Arena. So his um, build is very uh, is a decent build for Claret. And we we can see is that you may heard that you should actually use Breeze for Claret in season one, and that's true. That's totally true. The reason that uh, you use Breeze for Season 1 is for, you know, Breeze has this 10% increase in damage dealt, uh, which is very strong for Claret, you know, to deal more damage. And also, more importantly, Breeze can provide you like 2 extra mobility, which can make Claret's mobility a total of 12 mobility, which is very, very long distance. And you really have this um, special advantage over your enemy if the Breeze for Claret is triggered. 12 uh, mobility is no joke. Yeah, this is part of the reason why she is very strong. Although mostly she is strong because she can kill tanks, but this you know control over the map is also very strong. And uh, but in season in season two, Claret cannot kill tanks effectively. This is why lots of the PVP player actually change the breeze enchant to rough sea enchant, so that she can actually deal more damage. And uh, you know. But still, in this case, the top claret will not be able to kill top tanks. But if your enemy has low investment on their tank, for example, they only have 5 star land use, they only have 5 star judger, they have very poor enchantment on land use and judger, then your claret can still kill, you know, enemy's tank if they are not well built. And also, if you have, you know, attack blessing, you know, like the areas on your claret, uh, with your claret, then she can kill again. Yeah, so this is why in season 2, uh, these people in Chinese server, they are not using a Breeze Claret, but actually a Rough Sea Claret. And the reason, again, for this Rough Sea selection is to make sure that she can still kill. And yeah, we can see that this is basically the skills that she's um, bringing, like these two single target skill with this passive skill that will increase the damage dealt based on how far you travel. Yeah, so this is basically how you build Claret in Season 2, but the key gear for Claret is Ragnarok for weapon. Like, there is no other choice basically for Claret, you will always want to use this Ragnarok to basically to break the last right effect. And also, Claret herself needs last right. This is, you know, last right is, you know, basically, if this character can carry last right, this is you know, this character's best uh, armor, yeah. That's right, it's just uh, one of the best uh, armor in this game. And then she's using this, um, or this red ribbon, uh, and this is actually to increase the sustainability of Claret. Uh, I think uh, King's Crown is another good option, but, uh, you know, um, just in case, this is actually in case a throne is triggered, for example, if you are attacking land use, uh, throne is triggered, then you are fucked, kind of, because then, uh, you know, even you are not killed by land use thrown, uh, your attack in second, you know, your second attack will be much weaker because you don't have enough troop to launch a second attack, and she is likely to be killed in second attack. But if you carry this one, uh, then you will actually heal up 20% of health point, which is a decent amount of health point. With that health point, maybe you will find a chance to, you know, keep killing enemies tank even thrown is triggered. 
and then um, Bracer, uh, no, this uh, Dragon Emblem is just a very common attack gear that provides health point. This is why it is OP for you to use in Claret. So basically, those are the best gear set for Claret. Uh, for me, I think King's Crown is probably another good choice for her. But if you don't want to take the risk of, you know, throwing is triggered or something like that, then this Red Robin is also a very good choice for Claret. And uh, yeah, for example, we can also check this guy's Claret. Basically a very similar um, build. Uh, the reason that uh, he's using Net Gear over uh, Red Robin or Last Red is probably because this Claret is trying to do some PvE task. Uh, Claret can be used in one of the Asian call. Yeah, but other than that, the scale brain is very similar, and also the um, gear is very similar, and also the enchantment again is rough sea, not breeze. Uh, so for the global server, for example, if your aim is to be the champion in global server, you want to get very far in the playoff season, in the elimination period, then uh, you will definitely use breeze on your claret, because in season 1, uh, there is no problem for Claret to kill tanks. If you have a very good enchant, for example, 15% inch like attack for your weapon, and then let's say 8% attack for your accessory, like 4% uh, for your armor and headgear, your Claret is going to kill enemy's tank. So there is no problem, and uh, you can just uh, you know use um, like basically breeze to make sure uh, that you can have some a uh, special advantage. But in season 2, if you still want to use Claret, or if you're just a big fan of Claret, uh, and this one, we can see that uh, she's using King's Crown. Uh, she's also using the Peacemaker here. Uh, this is probably because she has no, um, this player has no enough Ragnarok for her. Yeah, but uh, yeah, basically, for season one, so for season 2, um, you can see none of this player, none of this player are using Breeze Enchant. Yeah, cause with Breeze Enchant, you just uh, don't have enough damage to enemy tank. And you know, uh, in Season 2, uh, enemy always pick tank, which is kind of similar situation in Global Server in Season 1. Uh, rarely people don't don't pick tank. So, you know, Claris really needs to kill tank. And with Breeze, she can, she can never kill any tank in Chinese Server in Season 2. This is why like basically all the claret you see is expect this one is for moon claret which i don't think that's a very good option but basically most of the claret here uh, especially those top ones are breeze claret and you can see here we still have a we still have one uh, breeze claret but uh, you know from this build uh, we can see probably uh, this player is not giving uh, his claret the best gears yeah, so this is probably like, you know, just a build for fun or for PvE content. For Apex Arena, you really need Rough Sea in Season 2, but you can, but you should use Breeze in Season 1. So this is like the other reason why uh, Claret is kind of Bale's toy, because, you know, she's only good for basically for the playoff of Season 1, uh, and you have to pull her at higher star to use her, and you know, you have to basically be prepared to change her gears, you know, change everything for the enchantment uh, for season 2 if you still want to keep using her. So this is her limitations. Yeah, so basically that's all about Claret. So personally, I really love this character, so I'm probably going to summon for her in the focused banner later, but myself, I have no plan to summon 6 star Claret. Uh, I am budget player. Um, to summon 6 star, you have to prepare at least 500 summons if you're extremely lucky uh the higher end could be like a thousand or a thousand yeah or over a thousand summons to summon a character at six star and you know if i summon a claret with like at five star then you know i still probably not going to not be able to use her in playoff season and uh, i'm not going to you know use claret anyway in season two so it's kind of yeah so basically my personal plan I'm not going to summon a high star of Claret, but you know, if you are well, uh, you have enough money to spend. Uh, she is a very strong character for season one, very very strong, top tier for season one. Uh, but then you will, you know, if you are well, I mean, you will have extra fundings or extra budget for you to summon others like stronger characters of like, for example, from Yu Yu Club, 
later. Yeah, so that's not a problem. But if you are free to play players, uh, I mean, if you really love the character, you can summon like one copy for her, and then yeah, like just uh, farm her for some farm her some shards and for PVE content. Uh, I don't really recommend any of the uh, free to play player or you know budget player like me to actually use her. Uh, she's just not that great in season two, and uh, you know uh, you will have a lot of regret if you put tons of resources on her. She's just not that amazing in season two. But uh, like we said, that she could be okay in season three because season three the level cap here is all seventy. So we need to see. Uh, we need to wait and see what is her three cost skill. If she got a very strong three cost skill, then she could be okay. And uh, yeah, there is one thing that I forgot to talk about. Uh, this is basically the troop selection. So you basically have two choices for her, which is the pack and uh, also the Griffin. Um, yeah, Griffin Rider. So in this case, uh, for PVP battle, you should always use this um, pack um, for your troop, just because this damage reduction censored well with Clarice talent. So in this way, you will receive very little damage from your first attack, and then you will have still have very strong power for her second attack. So this is why you always need to carry her. But in some PVE content, this Griffin Rider is also good to, for you to maximize your damage deal. Especially this is especially strong in Asian power. So yeah, so that's all about Claret. Hope you enjoy my video. If you do enjoy uh, my video, please subscribe my channel and give me a like. Thank you very much, and see you guys in my next video. Peace.